What's up everybody, it's Galaxy Artistic again here, and this is a match I have with my friend Gamer Gyps, and I'm using a fossil team because I've been doing a lot of geology work recently, and I thought it'd be fun to base my Pokemon matches around this. So I need off my Gallus, because he's a bit of a wimp. Oh, uh, after he goes half health, he loses uh, half his attack stat, which is kind of niff. Niff? Naff? Even, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> but I lead off with uh, the Gallus anyway, because uh, I know Heat Wave is going to be super active against this fortress, and um, Gamer Gyps is not smart enough to lead with anything else, so I knew that would be a, a definite one hit KO and get rid of that annoying poke to begin with. Uh, I use a lot of... Um, oh no, in comes the Dragonite. At which stage I'm just going to U-turn out because Gallus really can't take any of those hits. There we are. U-turn. Away! <laughs> now I'm going to bring in my Gonia type. Um, it's uh, obviously supposed to be an Ammonite. He resists the Fire Punch times four. I don't even know why he, the Dragonite even tried uh, Fire Punch. I've got the Ice Beam. I don't think I'm going to outspeed though. Uh, uh, obviously, a Gonia, uh, Goniatic uh, Ammonite has a simple um, septal shape. If you look at the uh, different body chambers, it's a smooth septal shape. I feel like I should explain this while nothing's happening. Anyway, I get the Ice Beam off of the Hydre region. Super effective, a lot of damage. It's obviously quite a special defensive beast unless um, Goniatite's stats are so low it just doesn't even matter. Anyway, I think I stay in and, and uh, go for the Ice Beam again. However, he carries Focus Blast, which I'm like, God damn, how did that hit me? And my Goniatite goes down. Which point I'm going to bring my Gallus again, because I know the U-turn's going to be super effective and it, I just get a quick in there U-turn. And then I can switch into something a bit more defensive and I should bring in my Cradilly at this stage. No, I don't. Oh, okay, no, I don't. I go into Paradoxides, um, which is a species of, uh, no, it's not, it's a genus of Ammonite with uh, Othpispaparian facial sutures to support bodies during Ecdysis. Of course, you all know this, and Ecdysis is obviously a reference, or we, we Karma, a reference to Ecdysis. We Karma coming now, lowering my uh, defense in, in type of speed. In, in turn for speed, and I set up a sword dance. My white herb gets rid of the defense drops, that's not a problem. And why the hell, getting back to the match, did that Alakazam carry Body Slam? Okay, that's just wrong. That's the, that is the, the sin, the, the worst thing I've ever seen ever happen. Anyway, I died to a focus blast. I bring in my Crinoid. Um, these are still alive today, actually. You should look up Crinoids, they're quite interesting. Um, this is a defensive, especially de defensive beast. Unfortunately, he carries the. Um, Synchronized. I don't really know what I was like, expecting because it was either going to be Magic Guard or Synchronized, so I would have been toxic either way. I was kind of stupid. But I get killed with the C bomb anyway. Yes. Uh, I like using Crinoid as a name for this thing. One, because it is based off a Crinoid, and um, two, because the Crinoids are quite hardy creatures. They have a Calcite Calyx and Calcite Ossicles to support their stems, and they're just very hard, hardy creatures. Anyway, I'm going to die toxic after that Fire Blast, which was neutral stab damage. I'm going to bring in my Graptolite. Um, which is another, uh, I guess it's a family, is it? Or an order? Class? I don't remember. <laughs> of extinct species, of extinct species, of extinct creatures. I resist Fire Blast. Don't know why he keeps going for Fire Type moving against these Rock Types. Because, I mean, Aerodactyl was squishy as anyway. I get the Times Force Stone Edge off again. Life Orb damage too. So I don't know why he didn't go for anything other than a Fire Move. Because my Graptolite couldn't take it. And the reason it's called Graptolite is because they're made of a uh, weak scleroprotein and uh, that is incredibly easy to break and they're rarely fossilized because of it. And therefore, because Aerodactyl has like zero defense, he is definitely a Graptolite. Anyway, I kill off the Dragonite as well. At this stage in life, I can play this pretty safe. All he's got left is Donphan. I've got two left. I pretty much swept his team with this thing. So I'm just going to go for the Fire Fang because I want to get some Burn Hacks. I'm like, that wasn't a good idea <laughs> because this happens anyway. Yeah, go for the Fire Finger and go for Burn Hacks. I don't get it. I don't get And he goes for a Head Smash. I'm like, hmm, this doesn't seem to be carrying anything very threatening. So I bring in my Theropoda, which is, you know, the same. That is a family of dinosaurs, Saurician dinosaurs, uh, which are, you know, T Rex, Velociraptor, stuff like that, which is obviously what um, Rampardos is looking like. Anyway, I missed the Head Smash, which wouldn't have done much anyway. I'm like, crap. Because I only found out in this match that actually ground resists um, rock anyway. And he dies to freaking recoil damage. And that was like a brilliant match. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.